Toki's first pants. So the front, I'm seeing she doesn't need any dots, you know. But again, we can do a slight little curve here for her stomach right now in the center front to zero here like this so i'm looking at her and it's very nice and clean here without the dots now let's look at this side seam let's look at the side seam right so we need some work in the back she's got a big, big large but she needs a little bit more this way too so we can open a little more and this automatically goes higher like this. Yes. So open like 316, <laughs> it's very low, you know? And it's okay if it stands out slightly, especially for this wide leg pants. Yeah. Now in the back, I'm looking at her and she needs a little more angle here because she's got more butt. So I'm going to take in one eighth and a double to zero in this place. Like this is her fullest butt and that's fine, okay? And after this, it's gonna be perfect. I think these darts work for her perfectly, right? I mean, this is a bad fabric. This is upholstery fabric, very rigid. So if you do with the right fabric and just this correction, it's gonna be perfect. So now another thing that I see here, so whatever we took away, we are adding here. Okay, so that the waist is fine. And in addition, I need to go up in the back another quarter. See, this is a perfect example of corrections that needs somebody with full butt, right? Completely opposite what a meal needed, okay? So here, let's mark this correction on the pattern. So first thing I'm doing is I'm going to increase this little bit, saddle slightly for you, just a little. So, um, and I feel like I can increase this from the front only because this hook is not enough, um, especially for wide leg, wide leg. So I added an eight. And here is your seam allowances. So I added one eighth here. Scotch taped it. So that means like front hook increased one eighth. So I will keep this because I don't want to change the height of the um, rises. Okay. And now from here and blend to zero. Like this, that's it. And the seam line is gonna be, make sure you use your uh, clear ruler and seam line is gonna be here. Right here, Toki have a little tummy shape. I'm going to take that one eighth and I'll take this like this from the pattern. Very little, this is very custom. It may not work for everybody, but we're sculpting this to your beautiful body. Okay, here you go, and here you go. Now, anytime we did this, we need to make sure that that's a nice and square angle. See, it's not perfect, so I'm just gonna sh scoop it like this so that there's a square angle about inch and a half away from edge. That's like nothing. <laughs> Ta da! Beautiful. And your seam lines, mark your seam lines because you're gonna need this later. So we can do a quarter at the seam lines like this. This way we can measure, you know, and compare to us. Okay. So let me measure front waist. Dun, 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 dun. So it's about eight and a quarter. It's eight and five sixteenths, but I'm not gonna do sixteenths. I'm going to still check with my back rise to make sure we have a nice and smooth curve. And here you go, here is this. 
and here is this and here is this so this is a nice and smooth scarf we need to fix the center back the way we pinned it right so we pinned one eighth on the double to zero here and we also went up a quarter because she's got more butt shape in the class so here is one eighth on the double to five and a half below right here zero so i like straight line don't do any curve there just do this perfect we're gonna mark your seam line like this this is my seam line then I told you we need to go up at least a quarter here. So this is one quarter is right here. Now I can close this and make a nice and smooth curve. But before I do that, I will also remember we need to increase here at the side seams so here is my quarter like this but before I fix this part I'm gonna match this to my front because these two curves need to match each other beautifully Ta -da! nice see here is a notch here's a notch and you just simply pivot it and trace this front curve I know my pattern is perfect. I don't, need, I don't need to check all the way down. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and cut this because curves need to match in the sewing. If they don't match, it's hard to sew. Now I can close this and uh, reshape the so let's see what we did. Did we change anything on the darts? Yeah, I think we did a half. It's slightly longer, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do this a little bit longer. Depths was still fine, so I'm just gonna copy the depths. Good to just like close this, close the center back like this, close like this, see, like this, and I'm going to pin this this way so that pin doesn't get broken okay you go or you can touch tape this one here and here like this we can use a scotch tape but use removable scotch tapes for all, right so now i'm going to take this and make a nice curve like this and i'm gonna join uh, this part with this part because this is the edge to edge so don't get confused beautiful right and before you open this you also measure this so that you have idea what measurement is this it's a quarter away because we're gonna have a facing here. Quarter away, quarter away. It's to the edge is seven and three eighths, so it'll be six and seven eighths. So write down six and seven eighths. As you see, your back is a lot smaller than the front, even though your low hip in the front is smaller you have a, a you know defined shape in the back so it's up smaller that's okay 